Wherever you are in the world when floods strike, they devastate lives, killing animals and destroying crops, causing widespread destruction of property, and in the worst cases, resulting in hundreds of thousands of deaths, not just from drowning, but from the spread of diseases. But the effect of floods depends on where you live and the resources you have to deal with. Bangladesh is a land of many rivers, and as a result, it is very prone to flooding due to being situated on the Brahmaputra River Delta. Due to being part of such a basin and being less than five meters above mean sea level, Bangladesh faces the cumulative effects of floods due to water flashing from nearby hills, the accumulation of the inflow of water from upstream catchments, and locally heavy rainfall enhanced by drainage. Congestion. Bangladesh faces this problem almost every year. Coastal flooding combined with the bursting of riverbanks is common and severely affects the landscape and society of Bangladesh. 80% of Bangladesh is a floodplain, and it has an extensive sea coastline, rendering the nation very much at risk of periodic widespread damage. Being born in Bangladesh means you will not only grow up in the most flood-prone country in the world, it also means you are likely to be poor, and this means you will be less able to deal with floods when they inevitably arrive. Small-scale flooding in Bangladesh helps to sustain the agricultural industry, as sediment deposited by floodwaters fertilizes fields. The water is required to grow rice, so natural flooding replaces artificial irrigation, which is time, consuming, and costly to build. The biggest and deadliest cyclone recorded in human history on November 11, 1970, Cyclone Bola barreled in Bangladesh, or what was then East Pakistan and West Bengal in neighboring India. Americans know as hurricanes go by other names elsewhere. Tempests of the Indian Ocean are called cyclones. Time and again, they've ravaged India, Bangladesh, and their neighbors. One such cyclone in 1970 left over 150,000 dead. It's hard to imagine the scale of this single disaster. The cyclone killed between one quarter and half a million people. The government response was so poor, it fueled protests that helped trigger a civil war, which turned Bangladesh into an independent country. One reason cyclones like Bola are so deadly is that they hit some of the most densely populated parts of the planet. In Bangladesh, more than half the population lives less than five meters above sea level. 18 major floods occurred in the 20th century. Those of 1951, 1987, 1988, and 1998 were of catastrophic consequence. In 1998, Bangladeshis experienced one of their worst ever floods. This flood made more than 30 million people, homeless and two-thirds of the country, remained underwater for over 50 days. A decade later, many people are only just beginning to recover. But with climate change, rising sea levels, and affecting weather patterns, many believe events like this are about to become much more frequent. So much sand and silt has been deposited on the riverbed that each time the floods come, the water covers previously safe areas of land. Deforestation and changing agricultural practices are the only human factors contributing to flooding. As Bangladesh's population has grown, so too have its cities. Buildings, roads, and other hard surfaces increase runoff and poor planning, which means there's little infrastructure to take water away. In Dhaka City, there are large areas that are low-lying areas, so in monsoon season, the water would go and accumulate there. The recent flood occurred last year in the Silet Division in Bangladesh. Hundreds of villages disappeared, and the entire district was submerged. Bangladesh managed to lessen storm fatalities in recent decades. Bangladesh accomplished this in three main ways. The first is technology. They built weather stations and forecasting systems. These computers use weather data and satellites to monitor areas of low pressure and predict the strength and path of cyclones, sometimes days in advance. The second is infrastructure. In the 1970s, the country had only 42 cyclone shelters. Now, it has more than 12,000 shelters defending its coastline. When storms strike, these can house nearly 5 million people. But clever computers and infrastructure aren't enough to bring death tolls down if people don't respond to the warnings. We know this 
because in 1990, one super cyclone Gorky killed 130, 8,000 people. It showed that there was one factor the government had neglected, culture. What's more, the warnings had been directed mainly at men. They rarely reached women, who were often at home, not allowed to speak to strangers, and reluctant to stay in shelters with men. The rise in the number of women working and studying has made it easier to reach them with warnings. This cultural shift is the third big reason floods in Bangladesh have become less deadly. Salimul Huke, director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development, said food diversification makes Bangladesh more resilient to environmental changes. The basic strategy for food has to be diversified. Agricultural diversification is one strategy for becoming more resilient. But the alarming news is, if sea levels rise eustatically, Bangladesh will sink isostatically. Because of the loading of sediment on the delta, there will be major impacts on the people of Bangladesh. A 1.5M rise in sea level would affect 17 million people and 22,000 ku of land, which is 16. Major fishing villages will be affected in agricultural land, and rice paddies will suffer the effects of salinization. Coastal cities such as Chittagong will face inundation and ever. Greater threats from cyclones. Flood action plan. A system of huge embankments along the coast and rivers reinforced by concrete. They increase channel capacity and hydraulic radius, but stop floods, replenish fields with nutrients, and can stop rainwater from escaping into fields. It also causes erosion downstream of the defenses and prevents deposition. Also improved drainage canals. The clearing of old canals had allowed a more efficient drainage system, allowing water to drain away more efficiently. Sparso and flood satellite imaging systems allow more warnings to be given to Bangladeshis by monitoring cloud cover, hydrographs, and rainfall patterns across the river basins.